getting a movie off the ground is hard. Just ask Kristen Stewart. Her directorial debut, The Chronology of Water, has been stuck in development hell, struggling to find financing. Audiences can enjoy Stewart's upcoming performances in Love Me and Love Lies Bleeding, two very different stories in which Stewart's characters fall head over heels and makes questionable choices to keep romances alive. The latter, a pulpy slice of Americana written and directed by Brit Rose Glass, enters theaters in the US this month and sees Stewart take on the role of Lou, a gym manager smitten with aspiring bodybuilder Jackie and Katie M. O'Brien. The pair's love affair is threatened when they become mixed up in Lou's crime family, headed by a grizzled Ed Harris, who runs their small town in 1980s New Mexico. The thriller Think Bonnie and Clyde, by way of the Coen brothers is both a throwback and a piece of forward-looking, muscular filmmaking, a queer love story with dirt under its fingernails that pulses with violent intent. As well as another showcase for Stewart, the actor told CNN there were plenty of takeaways from working with Glass. What did I learn from this, she pondered. Not everyone should keep directing. She should. Stewart knows of what she speaks. A former child star who successfully led a mega franchise before pivoting to auteur fair and the odd blockbuster, Stewart has experience to burn and more than a few war stories from life in the trenches of modern day movie making. Her screenplay marries pitch black humor and sexual abandon with occasional gore and phantasmagoria in a plot partly driven by the effect of steroids taken by O'Brien's bodybuilder. Stewart herself was all in for the shoot in Albuquerque in the summer of 2022. I trust her choices, instincts, opinions, taste all of it, she said. I felt fully in her hands, said Stewart. I don't always feel that way with directors. I think as an actor I'm becoming really annoying. I don't trust everyone. So it was fun to fully trust four with her. There's this delicacy and this open communication thing, that is really nice to see, that is and not to be too binary about it, but is quite female, she elaborated. And it was just fun to see her run such a wild experience, very much in control of something that was also out of control. Her relationship with Glass is one she hopes to emulate herself one day. If I were to take anything from this film, I would say find people who really like you. You need to find people that really want to be able to give themselves up, your thoughts, your body, she explained. I wanted to give her everything so she could just take it and do exactly what she wanted to do, and it then had nothing to do with what I wanted to do, Stewart explained. But somehow those instincts get married and a movie happens. And I just want to be on the other side of that. One thing her crew shouldn't expect if and when Stuart finds herself in the hot seat is much downtime. The conversation moves towards O'Brien comparing her experiences in the New Mexico desert with Marvel and Disney productions, the actor has had supporting roles in Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, and The Mandalorian. We have so much more time on a Marvel set, said O'Brien, you just. Expire, Stuart interjected. It's more laid back, O'Brien offered. It's boring, her co-star replied. Stewart doesn't like to be kept waiting. Film industry, take note. 